Okay, so we're changing the nozzle on our SVO6 because this one's a little messed up. We got the hot end of 240C. I'm going to go ahead and just use a socket set here to get the nozzle out. And I'm going to work quickly to remove it. If you don't work quickly, you can triple, trigger thermal runaway. Now we're going to take the new nozzle and thread it in by hand really quick. Be careful not to touch the heat block. I'm just going to get a couple threads in. And then I'm going to grab the socket that fits this nozzle. And just do it by hand. And I'm going to let it sit there because right now my temperature on my nozzle has dropped down to about 220. I'm going to give it a chance to recover. It's coming back up. And I'm just going to take my socket here and just give it a little turn. And just like that, the nozzle changed. Now this hot end does have two screws to hold the heat break into the actual extruder. If yours doesn't, you'll want to hold the heater block with a pair of pliers while you're doing the nozzle change. But this one actually has two screws, which makes changing it easier. So I'm going to give it just one more turn here to make sure we're all snugged up. Just a little bit. And that's it. We're done. So now I'm going to put the new silicone sock on. And we will need to change our Z offset because this is a different nozzle. It'll be slightly different. Um, if you have an adjustable fan duct like we do, just make sure that the little fangs are hanging up higher than the nozzle. But that's it. We're ready to print.